First of two on a weekend set next weekend. Uh, the Warriors will welcome the Cranbrook Bucks to town on Saturday night, next Saturday, January 6th. As uh, back to a full slate of hockey at Royal LePage Place. Here's Norland, makes a move, he scores! Isaiah Norland made a move at the blue line and it was deflected in front. It looks like it's Felix Caron that gets the marker. His league leading 19th and the Warriors take a one nothing lead. Norland made a move at the blue line, the right point and threw the puck to the front of the net. And Caron standing in front is able to get a piece of it and put it past the blocker side of Charlie Zolan. So Caron looks like he gets the goal. It's his 19th of the season. And he picks up right where he left off before the holiday break. He scored twice in that game against Pent. Off the face off, the Spruce Kings will get possession. They tried to start ahead. Kirkost has picked it off, and now Nordstrom will make his way back in. Left wing circle, Nordstrom delaying to the left half board. Now up top, it goes Osmus. Right wing side, Kier Costas moves in right circle. Fed it to the high slot. Here's Pridham back with it now. Pridham right top, across, scores! What a pass, what a goal! It's Vigo Nordstrom with his second goal of the season on a fantastic backdoor pass by Jack Pridham. An absolute beauty that gives the Warriors a 2-0 lead. Power play goal for Vigo Nordstrom, and what a terrific pass that was by Pridham to get that across the ice on the right wing side. Extends his point streak to eight games with that terrific pass. Jackson Kierkostas will draw the assist as well, and Nordstrom Hughes advancing in now, trying to catch the Spruce Kings on a bit of a change. Karan sets it up left point to the middle for Norland. Norland high slot to the net, Zolan the save, rebound, scores! Trent Wilson at the side of the net is able to bury a pass, and it's actually Elliott Compton. It's 28, not 29. Compton will get the marker, his third of the year, and the Warriors lead at 3 nothing. The shame from Norland at the blue line, put right onto the front of the net, and it's Compton, the 16-year-old, at the side of the goal, who's able to put a pass on the blocker side. Compton gets the marker his third of the year and a power play goal for the Warriors. Their second of the game and their second of the period as West Clone has taken a 3 nothing lead. The game tried to push it in front and scoring is Primorano. Luca Primorano at the side of the net. Rourke Appleby was looking for a kick. I can see his point because Primorano definitely looked like he kicked that in the net. Now the referees are gonna talk about it here, but that most certainly looked like a kick off the right foot of Primorano after Appleby made a great save to Kai Greaves. Greaves went back below the goal line with a wraparound try, and Primorano at the side of the net. Obviously we had the advantage of watching a video replay, but that certainly looked like Primorano kicked that puck, and it looks like they're gonna call this a good goal. But I think when they watch this back afterwards, they're going to realize that this should not have been a goal. They're going to say it's a good goal, but it certainly looked like Primorano. Norland will get to it, wraps it around the boards on the left wing side. Finding the handle on that there is West Colonna attempting to anyway. That puck will come back out at center. Here's Goodbrand with it now and a penalty coming up against West Colonna. Langdon, a shot, he scores! On a delayed penalty, Prince George with an odd man chance, and a centering pass comes for Jared Langdon, who beats Appleby on the glove side, and just like that, it's a one goal, and the Warriors lead cut to 3-2. 1.48 to go in the second period, and Prince George has come back with a pair of goals here in the second frame. Brought the other way by Prince George. Here's Greaves, left wing. Played it along for Goodbrand. Back for Greaves in front. Great save by Appleby. Made a phenomenal stop at the front of the net. As he denied the Spruce King forward in front on a pass from the left wing side to the front of the goal. And it was Skogan Schrott at the front of the net that Appleby Made a terrific save on with the left pad to keep the Warrior lead at 3-2. What a stop that was as the Spruce Kings brought the puck the other way. And Kai Greaves to the front of the net on the backhand pass from the left circle. 
to Schrott in front, and Rourke Appleby, a terrific save to keep that out and keep the Warriors lead at one to get that puck to Salandra on the right wing side and an outstanding save by Zolan. Here comes Salandra back ahead right side. Karan right, circle shot, stop, rebound, scores! Michael Salandra filling the middle, able to put it past the blocker's side of Zolan and a big goal for the Warriors with 6.30 to go in the third. West Kelowna leads it 4-2. Karan came down the right wing side with a hard shot that Zolan could not corral the rebound. And it's a goal for Michael Salandro, who picks up his 11th goal of the season. Salandro's been on a tear lately offensively. And it'll be a goal for Salandro. The assists will go to... Played it along now for Ranstrom. That was blocked. Ranstrom gets it back again. Right wing side now up top. Greaves, 18 seconds to go in the five-on-three power play. Left side, Ranstrom down low. It goes and a chance in front. That was knocked down. Gathered up here, Cornway, a high slot. Right side, shot scores. McGregor Bennett with eight seconds to go in the five-on-three power play. Makes it a one-goal game. Gillian McGregor Bennett with his 11th goal of the season. And a one time shot from the right wing side. Is able to fire it past the blocker's side of Rorick Appleby. Power play goal for Prince George. And we'll Lead it along now back to the mid Brandstrom. Right wing Primarano to the net. Stopped by Appleby. The rebound comes out the left side. Taken back here by Sasaki. Kazumo Sasaki up the boards on the right side. is being pressured and the puck pushed to the blue line but not out. Prince George holds it on for a moment before the Warriors get it back out through to center. Salandra neutralized. Put it ahead. Felix Caron to the empty goal and he's got his 20th goal of the season. Felix Caron, the BCHL goal leader is the first to hit 20 as he finds the back of the empty net with 57 seconds to go in the third period and gives the Warriors a 5-3 lead. McNeil across left side. Hesselgrave will lay it back. Down inside of the Warriors zone. 20 seconds to go here in the third period. Puck comes back up the left wing side. Jackson Kierkostas will make his way ahead. Kierkostas down the left wing. Down below. Below the goal line, behind the net. Eight seconds to go in the game as Kierkostas will throw it around. And on the left wing side, this puck bout, battled for. Put back out to the blue line. And then will sound the buzzer on this one. The Warriors win it. 5-3, to three, the final score. Felix Caron, a pair of goals.